Hey you guys, it's me, Kia. I was just coming on to do a quick little, I don't know, um, a haul maybe, you can call it. It's not really a haul because it's not a lot of stuff, but um, basically just to show you guys what I've been doing. I'm not going to show you me today because I look a pregnant hot mess. <laughs> and um, I just wanted to really show you guys what I've been like doing i'm so sorry i have not made an update of like my symptoms and all that stuff i will do one this week um but i just wanted to show you guys what i've um got so my last video that i did was the they're going to be the pregnancy announcement um pictures so I, of course i went to walmart and i made, made a little collage of the all the pictures that we took and i um I'm going to send those out along with the little onesies that I did and that's going to be the way we announced the pregnancy and then I just wanted to document like how I look at 11 weeks I look like I'm like six months already um and it's a shame but <laughs> um I had to go and buy some maternity clothes as you guys can see from the last video because my stomach is just as round as it can be and I cannot fit nothing um so these are the maternity clothes that I got and it's not a lot. You know, you guys know that I don't work. Um, so I didn't want to get a lot of clothes, but I do occasionally leave the house. I go shopping. Um, you know, I do like take the kids out. I take them out to dinner when my husband's gone um, on the ship. And, uh, you know, when my husband is here, we, we go out. So I leave the house. So my clothes have to fit. Um, <laughs> so I got a few items and everything, um, not the, the pampers and stuff in the back, but the clothes and stuff are all secondhand clothes. I went to two different stores and one is called here in San Diego. It's called the Baby Exchange. And then the other one is called um, Baby Go Round, I think. Um, and it, it was pretty inexpensive. Like I've worked before with my other two pregnancies and buying maternity clothes is expensive. Um, and for somebody who don't work, I don't need the whole slacks and work clothes and all that stuff. So I just really got a few items and like I can mix and match. Um, so let me tell you what I got. I got some jeans. Um, and these jeans, what I liked about these is that it don't go all the way up your stomach. And these are size medium. And I got these ones, which these ones I actually have a little bit of room like in the thigh area. And these ones go all the way up, but this nice this is like spandex material. This is really, this is really nice. Um, and those go all the way up your stomach. It's not that uncomfortable. Um, once you know your stomach really starts to poke out, it's actually it's kind of nice. <laughs> and I got these ones, and I thought these were just so cute, they were my favorite these ones and it has the it doesn't go all the way up your stomach but it it it's enough um me and my husband went out for my birthday um last week and i had on my regular jeans and you know the button and stuff that be right here y'all that thing hurt so bad i know what to do myself <laughs> i was like babe my stomach hurt he was like okay i'm gonna get you some clothes i'm gonna get you some clothes so we definitely had to do that so this would be nice that you know there's no button here so I got that shirt and I think I like about this shirt is that it is long look how long that is I got a white shirt and it has the little elastic thingies whatever at the bottom the elasticy I got this it's like a nice it's like a baby bluish color this one is really nice and it's long I have room to grow and I got this shirt. I really, really like this shirt. Even though I don't work, it's just, it's it seemed like a work shirt, like something you could wear like with some nice slacks. But it's so long, I could wear it with some leggings and some boots. I could wear it with some jeans. If I'm going to the doctor, I don't want to look like a 12-year-old. <laughs> um, so this is like a nice little dressy shirt. Or if me and my husband decide to go out for dinner, I could put on a nice shirt and, um, you know, I could put this shirt on. It's it's a nice material. And then I just got a black one. And this one, again, is really long. So it's going to cover all of my belly. And I also spent... Let me tell you how much I spent. So for the shirt, this shirt, this shirt, that shirt, and that white shirt, I spent $18.60. 
And then for these jeans, those jeans, those jeans, and that striped shirt, I spent $30.20. So I spent about $50 on all these these clothes right here, which is pretty good because if you go to Motherhood or Pee in a Pod or Target, you're going to spend like $25, $30 on one item. And it was, it'll probably be a shirt. It won't be no jeans. So I think I did pretty good for $50. Bucks. Um, and I can mix and match. Three pair of jeans is more than enough right now. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about my my pregnancy clothes. <laughs> um, and I also wanted to show you guys my baby haul, which I actually like now that I see baby stuff, I feel like there's a baby coming because it's baby stuff in the house. Um, and I actually couponed for these diapers. They were eight. 99 at Rite Aid and I had a $2 off coupon and if you spent $30 you got $10 back so I hope that makes sense to you guys <laughs> um so I have one 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 and then I have two packs of newborns right there so that's two for six packs of diapers and they're huggies they come with 35 the size one come with 35 and the newborn size come with 32 and I got, ooh, eight. I think that's eight there. Yeah. I got eight packs of, uh, packs, boxes. They're not, a, it's not a box, but you know, eight little, um, packs of wipes, baby wipes. And the total that I spent, like, out of my pocket, the cash money that I spent was $45. So I spent $45 on eight packs of wipes and six packs of huggy diapers um, and I did do of course of course when you're a coupon and you look around for the best price and you want to make sure you're getting a good deal so I did go to Walmart and I did go to Target and I priced out the diapers to get a one box of diapers from Target um, you know size one I believe it's like a hundred diapers and it's like $25 and some change um, so here I've already, it's, it's way more than, it's like 200 and I don't know. It's like 204, 230. I don't, I don't remember. I added it up. Each pack is 35 and then the newborn is 32. I did add it up and it was like over 200 pampers, um, for, over 200 pampers and if I would have went to like Target and got one box of a hundred I would have been spending $25 and then add on a tax of like 27 um, and then I got the wipes so I actually did a better deal doing the individual diapers than um, I would have done if I would have went to like Walmart or Target to buy a box and the last thing I wanted to show you guys that I've been doing is putting on my tummy butter yes Lord I don't know if I think that this tummy butter like works for stretch marks but it helps me stop scratching because of the texture of it like it's a greasy type texture but under every shirt I always put on a t-shirt um like a wife beater or a tank top I, I just always do I've always done it so um I've been putting this on and I'm telling you I don't I, I can't scratch because it's like so silky smooth on my stomach but it's actually really it smells good it's really nice it's supposed to have like the collagen elastin in it to um, help with the stretch marks but like I said this is my third child and I have stretch marks from here to Kalamazoo so I don't know if anything really works but I've been using that just to help me not to scratch and I put it on maybe like uh two to three times a day depending on how itchy I am <laughs> yes you guys so that is what I've been doing I've been buying baby pampers and wipes I haven't bought any clothes or anything like that um for the baby that's the only thing that this baby has right now and then my maternity clothes so I won't be walking around looking a mess um so yes um this is my quick little update I am 11 weeks and uh, two days, I believe tomorrow is Wednesday, um, February 18th, and it is my first OB appointment, and I'm so excited. So, I will talk to you guys tomorrow and let you guys know how that went, and hopefully try to get this posted really quickly for you guys. Thanks for watching, you guys. Love you. Bye.